So I haven't filmed today. It's almost like three o'clock. I just had a really busy day. We just got back from getting Aiden's transit stroller at the place. I was gonna have the lady come to our house like she did with Narkeza stroller, but I don't know. I just, I wanted to just go and get it over with. Um, and she couldn't come here for a couple of more days. So I really wanted him to have his stroller before he started school. So we got a stroller. I will show you guys in just a little bit once I get it in the house. Um, but it's actually really big. Like it's a lot bigger. I don't know. It's a bigger deal, I guess, than I thought it was. Like he's supposed to ride in a stroller on the bus and while he's at school, like because he has a really hard time walking like from the classroom to the cafeteria or from the classroom to the gym um, and he'll just kind of lay down on the floor and he doesn't want to go anywhere because he gets overwhelmed and um, the, like school policy is they're not allowed to pick him up and physically carry him and they're not allowed to like drag him obviously so if he chooses to do that then they always had to have an aide stay back with him or feed him his lunch in the classroom or miss gym or whatever um, because he wouldn't go um, so that's what the stroller is supposed to help with it has a little desk with it of course they're going to let him out at school and let him you know be out of a stroller but it's strictly a transit stroller for moving him from one place to another so that's nice and i think we're definitely going to use it on saturday we have some out of breath <laughs> we have some plans on saturday that we're going to use it for um but yeah i will get that out in just a minute and show you guys Real. this is aiden's transit stroller it is a i don't even know what brand it is it's a conveyed that's the the tag on it right there I don't know. I really like it. It's actually not the color that I had ordered. I had gotten a, uh, it was more of a like teal type of color that I had ordered, but they sent me blue, which is fine. I'm obviously, I'm definitely not going to argue with them about it because really the color does not matter. Um, but yeah, we really like it so far. We haven't actually used it yet, but, um, it has these really big, nice wheels. And it has a place right here, like where his feet could be strapped Daddy. down if they needed them to. Um, I don't foresee them Daddy. needing to strap his Daddy feet down. Her car. It's okay. She can go get it. And it has a uh, five-point harness, which I really like. So, and then just the straps and then a little um, mesh padding on it. And obviously, as you can see, it's very adjustable. And then this part is removable too, but this is just for when he grows, so he still has room for his head. And I think it reclines to an extent, but for the most part, <clears throat> it is uh, just a sitting up type of stroller. So this is also right here, these little hooks are so he can ride the bus in it. So that's going to make it easy, huh, buddy? And I just kind of brought it in the house just so he could kind of explore it a little bit and maybe get used to it a little. Um, he got really upset when we put him in it in the store, which kind of shocked me. Um, he got in it and he just started crying. So I don't know if it was a little overwhelming for him or he just, it was so new and he didn't really know what to think, but I'm going to put him in it, um, real quick and let him test it for a minute. And then this is what he looks like in it. I don't like strapping his feet down. I'm not really sure what or when that might possibly ever come in handy. Um, it is removable though, so I can remove it and just have the normal foot rest. But um, it's really nice. I think it's gonna do good for him. What do you think, Aiden? What do you think, Aiden? Let's turn you around. And it also came with a tray like Narkeez's to go right there so he can do like, you know, sit down activities and that kind of thing. Which will be good for him, huh? 
literally just did this for the purpose of showing you guys that this is what the straps on his feet are supposed to do. However, I don't think we're going to use them. He is not a happy camper using the straps. What do you think of the straps, buddy? Does that make you mad? Does it make you mad? Okay. Let's undo those straps. We don't need those. I think it's for kids who are a little bit more disabled than him. Um, yeah, we don't need them. Say free. Free the footies. Free the footies. You ready to get out? Yeah? I'm going to go ahead and get him out, y'all. He's been in it about five minutes, which I think is probably his limit. I don't want him to feel like he, he's trapped in it or anything. Come on. You can get out. And then we have just this little buckle that unbuckles. Here you go. Come on. Yeah, you're happy. Yeah, yeah you know I'm letting you out, don't you? Hey, <laughs> Dan, silly boy. Come on. Come on, you can get out. Come on, you can get out. We'll show. We'll show. I'm going to let him kind of explore it if he wants to. So I'll probably leave it in the living room for a little while so he can feel it and maybe get used to it. <laughs> Y'all, he is so silly. I let him out and he went and sat in it again by himself. Do you just have to do it on your own terms? Is that what it was? He just went and sat in it. Not strapped in or anything. Silly boy. See, that's what I, I really wanted him to do, though. I wanted him to sit in it on his own and kind of explore it so he would be used to it. Because it is very different um, from the cheapo Walmart stroller we have been using. And I have a little rag back here for drool situations. For drool situations, huh? So, Marquise is having another difficult moment I guess I don't know what it is it's like he randomly decides that he's not gonna get dressed he's not gonna put his clothes on he's not gonna do what he's supposed to do so I don't know <laughs> I don't know what the deal is he put his shirt on this morning by himself he put his sh another shirt on after he got breakfast on it he put another shirt on this morning well not this morning about midday he put another shirt on by himself and he just went to the bathroom and he took his shirt off to go to the bathroom because he gets, he's kind of messy. <laughs> so he knows he's supposed to take his shirt off to use the bathroom. Every day he uses the bathroom and he takes his, he takes his shirt off, he gets off the toilet by himself, he puts his shirt back on every day. <laughs> but for some reason right now he's like fighting me on it. He's like, I will not put this shirt on my body. I'm going to lay here and act like I don't know how to do it. So I mean come on like I know it's he has fetal alcohol syndrome but I also know he knows how to put a shirt on his body because I've seen him do it countless times so I told him he has to stay at the end of the hallway until he gets his shirt on because he knows how to do it and he is perfectly capable so he's mad at me I'm not gonna show him because he's over there pouting but anyway I need to do some dishes I was in here folding clothes um, with little Aiden and I need to go clean my husband and I's bedroom up and get dirty clothes and bring them to the laundry area and all that kind of stuff. Same old, same old guys. <laughs> okay guys, so I think I'm going to whisper this time because literally everyone in my house is asleep. Um, I just got all the kids to bed. Um, my husband is taking a nap. He hasn't been sleeping too well and he's been having some crazy, crazy busy days at work um, the last couple of days. Well, I hate these pockets. I don't know, what are they called? The sliding, the sliding doors? I don't like them. Um, they get stuck all the time. Anyway, <laughs> um, uh, when the other day, blah, 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 I'm getting all tongue twisted. The other day when I posted um, the vlog about ordering the ordering Piper's lunchbox, um, I had a lot of you guys asking what we did for Aiden's lunch. Like, why didn't I get one for Aiden? Because he does need a packed lunch every day as well. I just didn't get one for Aiden because, like, presentation is not important to him. And he doesn't eat enough of a variety of foods um, for me to 
<laughs> really fill the trays. Plus, everything that he eats has to be microwaved. And the lunchbox that I ordered for Piper um, require is like it's like ten, um, and you can't microwave that. So Piper's is very much sort of like cold lunch. Oh, there are flies everywhere. Gosh, summer, y'all, summer. Kids going in and out all the time. Just there's just flies in my house. I need to get a fly sweater. Um, what was I talking about? <laughs> oh, um, yeah, the, the lunch boxes. So some of you are asking, like, what do we pack for Aiden? Like, what is a typical, I'm trying to fix the lighting here. Is that any better? I don't think so. Um, what is a typical, like, lunch day for Aiden? And when they start school, I will definitely film, like, a lunch box. Like a what's in my lunch box kind of a video. But um, usually it's either his um, oatmeal and peanut butter. It's or or it's his mashed potatoes and peanut butter or it is like something from dinner the night before that I have blended and I try to do that as often as I can but there's just so few things that we cook that he'll eat like he'll eat blended like pot roast and blended spaghetti like but if we have those dishes like I'll blend it for his lunch the next day I also put in a yogurt um, some applesauce um, or mashed banana it I kind of you know mix it up um, and I will usually put in like a baby food pouch for him um, just of something and I will also put in two insures in his lunch because he'll, he'll get an insure in the morning and then he'll get one kind of during with his lunch so even if he doesn't eat <laughs> he has his insure and for those of you who are like what the heck is insure it's these it's just these they're total nutrition supplements basically is what it is or meal replacement supplements um, just because you can't live on peanut butter and oatmeal yeah anyway I just wanted to address that because I didn't want you guys to think like oh I'm leaving Aiden out or anything like that um, Narkees definitely but Narkees definitely prefers to buy his lunch just because a lot of kids in his class buy their lunch and he likes to go through the line and get his tray and all that kind of stuff so anyway that's the deal with the lunch situation I think I am going to go ahead and let you guys go. I'm going to edit. I need to get Aiden's stroller. But yeah, I only brought it in so he could get used to it. But that's it. Then I know I showed you guys earlier. I was just folding clothes and blankets and all that kind of stuff and trying to get the laundry under control. But anyway, I am going to let you guys go and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. And yeah, I hope you guys are all doing awesome. And thank you so much to all of my new subscribers. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, like always. Bye all.